great shock it goes right through you it's incredible the excitement of color is unbelievable two colors that you've always known suddenly come next to one another and they react of course and um, oh it gives you a, a huge sensual thrill you've got so much going on you can see through the water to um, the bottom of whatever it is the stream or the or the sea with sand and rocks or whatever then you've got the water itself which could possibly have weeds in it or a little fish then you've got the surface of the water and the reflections on it so you've got layers of different things going on which is impossibly difficult to record it's the challenge of trying to get the truth about what you're looking at down on a piece of paper that is so fascinating one of the most rewarding things about living as an artist is that every day has a new challenge you've got something new you want to record you've seen a mixture of colors or line or something that has attracted you which you would like to record on paper and you don't necessarily know how to do it so you're experimenting and I do believe that experimenting is an extremely important part of what you do if I'm painting um, I'm so absorbed that I've moved over to the right hand side of my brain I don't think I'm actually thinking of anything at all I've gone into a, an automatic stage where my eyes are looking the information's coming in through my eyes, down through my arm and onto the paper and my conscious brain is not thinking. In details I find a dangerous area where you can be so obsessed with tiny things that you lose sight of the whole. Even at the beginning of my professional life when I was producing more three-dimensional work than painting it's interesting that the influences on my life were always painters always even though I might have been producing jewelry or mosaic work or, or big structures using willow the main influence on my life always has been painters it's the absolute essence of what you do looking and observing and the easiest way to look is to draw you need to re-look at things um, you, you, when you first find something it's very exciting you can then think you've looked at it carefully and then you can become quite complacent because you put it on one side and if you're not careful you don't really look at it again carefully enough so I think it's very important to keep going and, and picking things up you know very, very simple things and looking at them again it's just because you've looked at it once five years ago doesn't mean you know what it looks like what will attract me suddenly out of the cor corner of my eye what will make me turn around and see something is I will see a colour and that will make me turn and look and then I'll concentrate and then I'll see more than just the colour. Time changing things is something that absolutely fascinates me because um, the rocks for instance, you know, this is all about time and change and erosion and heat and pressure and that's time over millions and millions of years which I find utterly fascinating put in my place in terms of time I like being reminded 
that I'm really just a little ant scurrying around on the surface for an infinitesimally small amount of time compared to this sort of thing which is the true age of the earth um, and that affects landscape painting or stone painting or anything like that I think the more respect you have for what you're painting the more knowledge you have of it the better your painting should be I think the older you get especially for me the more confident you become and you care less and less about what other people think about you so you will have a lot more confidence in what you're doing and if people don't like it that's just tough because it's what you want to explore and what you want to do looking back I now realize that I would have loved to have studied geology because it absolutely fascinates me but I also know that a lot of geologists spend their times looking at a computer screen and I couldn't bear that I just couldn't stand it um, I think I've made the best choice I've had a rich and lovely time I wouldn't really swap it you have to learn to live on a roller coaster of good and bad and you've got to learn to pick yourself up and start again